Form 40. Today, we're talking about how Gilda's Club helps people deal with the emotional side of cancer. Joining me now is the CEO of Gilda's Club South Jersey, Sarah Griffith. Thanks so much for joining us. How long has Gilda's Club been in existence in our area? 10 years. We're just about to celebrate our 10th anniversary. We opened uh, late in 2002. That's wonderful. And I know you're right down from our studios here in Linwood, and it is a beautiful facility, very, very nice, uh, warm and welcoming for everyone. That facility uh, has meant such a, uh, made such a difference for us as an organization. We, that's our fourth location. And uh, really thanks to Wawa and their support and uh, the, the money that was raised in those coin canisters that are next to cash registers in Wawa, we, we raised enough money to buy that building. Amazing, spare change. You exactly. Know? And look at that, and, and you've got this beautiful facility and it's parking and easy to Absolutely. get to, which is really terrific. And how did you get involved personally, Sarah? Well, uh, I, I would say I started getting involved back in the early 80s when my father was diagnosed with brain cancer and um, he didn't survive. and. I knew at that point that uh, I, I wished that there was some form of support. So when I heard that there was a Gilda's Club being considered for this area, um, frankly, I, I sent my resume in and, and they interviewed me. And I was um, hired to you know really launch the program. And Gilda's Club in general has been around for how long? Uh, the organization's been around for about 16 years. Mm -hmm. It takes a community of people, and in this case it was the Ruth Newman Shapiro Cancer and Heart Fund that heard about Gilda's Club, knew that there was another piece that was missing from the puzzle. We um, spend a lot of time thinking about, of course, when there's a cancer diagnosis, about the medical treatment, but there uh, wasn't very much going on in terms of the psychosocial or the mm -hmm. social and emotional side of, of the disease, and it was RNS that saw that there was a need and petitioned Gilda's Club to open a uh, an affiliate down How here. How fortunate are we, really? We really Absolutely. are to have a Gilda's here. And, and you say, you know, the social and emotional support, it sounds a little touchy feely to some people. How important is that? It is Im Im immensely important. Um, we know that stress has a negative impact on our well being. Well, this is exactly what we counter. Uh, our programs, whether it's a support group, which you heard Ann and Jada speaking about, or whether it's going to a yoga class, or learning about nutrition, or any of the mind-body experiences that we bring into our program, um, it's, it's diverse. We do 1,200 activities a year at our clubhouse and elsewhere, and there's something in there that will help people you know, reduce that stress, reduce that anxiety, reduce that sense of isolation, which have both profound effects on our psyche, but sure. also on our bodies. Of course, and just being with others in the same situation does mm -hmm. make a difference. And, and there are some folks that get a little nervous about that, sharing their feelings and that Absolutely. sort of thing. But uh, as Ann said earlier, you don't always have to even contribute. You can sit and listen and, and just, just be part of it. I think probably walking through our door is the hardest part for many people. And many people think that we're just there for women or women with breast cancer, but clearly we're there for anyone at any point in the diagnosis. Um, even years after, sometimes people come to us because they're trying to make sense of what they went through. And it's, uh, it's also a place where there's tremendous learning going on. About a third of our program is educational nature, where there's lectures and workshops. Now those are, are, of course, offered at no charge, like our entire program, but they're open to the public, so you don't have to attend a new member meeting to even attend one of those sessions. So I'm sure when you go on your website, you can find out when all, all of these take place. If you just want to sort of, you know, wet your feet a little bit, exactly. you, can, you can get tip in. Tiptoe in. Tiptoe in, yeah. and you can, you can come to a lecture. So it's a good That's way right. of maybe introducing yourself to Gilda's Club. And what a great thing to have a doctor who's not got the white coat on, doesn't have the stethoscope on, and you can ask any question that you want. And that's a beautiful thing. And you're, you know, queuing up with other people who are asking questions. So it's very, very beneficial. For it's amazing you can offer all of this for free at no charge. How do you do it? It is done by uh, amazing volunteers. When I mentioned that doctor, that doctor's not charging us. That doctor's coming in and offering that service at no cost. 
70 percent of our of our program of those 1200 activities are offered by volunteers experts in their field who just want to give back to the community and we have a small paid staff that coordinates that that asks people that that uh, you know finds those experts to bring in but what uh, what a fantastic uh, feature that is in our own community to have people who are so giving. And you have fundraisers as well? Well that's certainly how we we make our bottom line. We raise about eight hundred thousand dollars a year to keep that red door open and we do fundraisers. I mean we have a diverse fundraising plan of which fundraisers and activities like that are, are, are certainly part sure, of that. Sure, and I've been to many of your events and they're always wonderful and very successful. Thank you. And there is such a tremendous support in the community and I think one of the reasons is Gilda's Club is, 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 is a valuable service in our community, but also we have a great town. We That's have great right. people around here and everybody wants to help and most people have been touched by cancer. Well, the statistics are daunting. One out of every two men and one out of every three women will get a cancer diagnosis in their lifetime. So um, whether it's happened to you personally or, or a loved one, you're right, uh, no one escapes uh, the experience. Some people, I, I don't know that uh, Gilda's Club necessarily is for every person, but I do know that the people who come benefit tremendously. And, and they don't, maybe they just come a couple of times and it gets them through the night mm -hmm. and gets them over the hump. Or maybe like the Majors family, they come for years because it continues to, to be a benefit. That's something of value to them. That's right. And there's also another office uh, in the Atlantic Care Cancer Center. Tell us about That's that. That's right. So um, when the Atlantic Care opened its Cancer Care Institute on English Creek Road, they built us into their program. So Gilda's Club is inside. We've got a space called the Living Room, which we have a part-time uh, manager, and we offer support groups and other activities right there. Um, making it highly convenient for people who are going there for treatment. And I think that that is the wave of the future. Um, what we do is becoming mandated to be part of the medical treatment, that this other side of the experience is um, developed into part of that, that treatment plan. So you'll see this more and more. It's becoming mandated because um, what perhaps at one point was thought of as being an accessory is becoming a necessity. Absolutely, and it is. The mind-body connection is so powerful. What do you see personally there when you're there? What do you see maybe from when somebody first comes to after they've been coming a while and the changes in them? Well, uh, you know, it's amazing. Even you pick up the phone and somebody's calling, I, I think I need to, you know, come out. And, you know, you steer them into a new member meeting, which is an orientation meeting. And then people are free to do whatever they like. They can come to as many things. They can come five times a week if they like, or they can come once a month. They can come and pick and choose. And you see people go through enormously difficult, an enormously difficult episode of their life and come through the other side. It's enormously gratifying. That's fantastic. And anyway, we want to mention again, debunk the myth. It is a, a program that is not overnight. Right. And also mention again that uh, women, it's not for women only. It's That's right. It's for everyone. Exactly. Yeah. It's for, it's, it is truly for everyone. Uh, we've got an active teen program. We're in 10 high schools. So there's a teen teen component, the Noogie Land component, and, um, and, and Barry will speak a little bit later about the men's component. And in fact, that's what we're going to talk about. So thank you so much, Sarah. We do appreciate you coming in and sharing this wonderful, warm program that you have in Gilda's Club. Thank you so much. Thank you. And in fact, up next, we will talk about the men's group with the men's group facilitator, and we'll hear about the program at Gilda's Club. Stay with us.